Next question is from Thor Davey. What are the benefits of the floor press versus the traditional bench press press for those working out at home? You guys ever train the floor press consistently in your workout? I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not consistently. Yeah. I, so I did it for a little while when I was trying I was trying to get to a 400 pound bench press. I never got there. I got up to I think 365 or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it did increase my bench press. It did get me to add another I think it was like 10 or 15, which is a big number when you're when you're reaching your limit mm -hmm. with the bench press and the benefits that I saw from the bench press from the floor press were this. It negates the leg drive, so it's all upper body pressing. Right. Isolates it. Yeah, people don't realize that when you do a bench press, when you're maximizing your strength, um, there's a lot of leg drive that's involved. It's just activating those legs. When you're on the floor, you can't. If you do, you end up lifting your hips off the floor. So it's all upper body. It also forces you to pause at the bottom and focus on lockout. Lockout is the top of a bench press, mm -hmm. and for for strength athletes, so floor presses are super popular with power lifters. Super, it's a, it's a staple exercise for power lifters, specifically to train that lockout portion of the of the bench press, where a lot of these guys will miss a top lift because they can't get that last two inches of their. Of yeah, and press. I think that's probably why I didn't stick with it in my program quite as much. The lockout for me was never really the issue. Uh, it was mainly like at the bottom portion of the lift that I struggled the most. But this is definitely one of those I see like it, and, and uh, powerlifters do a great job of this of, of taking like components of that uh, entire lift and kind of breaking it apart. And so this this definitely like works specifically on that lockout portion and stabilizing and digging your way out of uh you know that position once you stall so i think that i think this question is coming from somebody who isn't necessarily doing it because they they're trying to find better benefits but maybe because they have to because they don't have a bench right they're at home they're doing a home workout and they're doing floor press. So your limiting range of motion is going to be my critique. So and it is. And so I don't I don't see a lot of value for the floor press for most people. Unless it's like a sticking point a power lifter and it's a very specific reason why you're doing this exercise, I don't see a lot of benefit into it, intentionally incorporating it for most people. And if you're asking this question because you don't have a bench and so of course you okay you you get on the floor and you press and so you're you're limited because of that then and I've had this before where clients are in a hotel room or they don't have that and they're like what do we do so what I do with them is actually like a floor press but then right before or right after so you can you can do a pre exhaust or you can do it after you do the floor press I actually flip the dumbbells on their heads and actually have them do really deep push ups to offset off, it off to offset it right so uh -huh. I take them through that full range of motion because I wouldn't want them to train off the floor all the time and shorten that range of motion up I would prefer that they go really deep and through full range of motion so one of the best ways to do that for a push up is to elevate your hands so you can go even deeper on the push up so I would do those back to back yeah now exercise. yeah I, I'd say I agree I'd say the most carryover is to increase your bench press um here's here's something else you want to keep in mind I've heard people say oh it's safer on the shoulders not necessarily because you're on the floor yeah uh, and it's a you know, big hard you know wide floor or whatever it I have found it in myself to sometimes limit my scapular movement or mobility mm -hmm. because I'm on the floor because I'm on a bench my shoulders are a little wider than the bench so my yeah. scapula can fall together a little bit so pay attention to that if you do this you still want to have your shoulders pinned down and back on the floor otherwise you end up pressing with this rounded shoulder and that can cause problems. If I had the option, I would have, if this is my client and you were asking this question too, I, I would actually have you get, um, if you, you know, maybe the bench is really expensive, I'd have you get a foam roll. Mm -hmm. And I actually have you put the foam roll down your spine. Or and a actually, half foam roll. Yeah, yeah. And bench mm -hmm. off of that. You know, bench off the, the foam roll because that addresses your point, Sal, because I agree. Laying flat on the ground uh, will flatten out your back and a lot of times promote the forward shoulder because it's really tough to retract and squeeze in that position on the floor. So I, I would like to see that client on a, on a foam roll over the floor.